Craig Jelinek, the CEO of Costco. Uh, you know, Craig, it's a, it's a joy to have you on. Tell us what is hot this week for Christmas. You're much too kind. Actually, probably some of the things that are hot is uh, PlayStation, things like that. Gaming is still relatively... Uh, strong out there. Apple is still strong, although there can be some issues uh, getting product at the, at the moment, but uh, particularly phones. But uh, overall, it's probably not one of the most exciting Christmases I've ever uh, dealt with. And uh, I think that has a lot to do with the uh, consumer being a little bit careful going, on, going into next year. Well, let's talk about the oddity of Costco and Costco's product. I once, uh, I, I, I once talked about on air the trade down uh, with Kirkland, and I was quickly uh, upbraided to talk about it's the trade up, of which something I always agreed. I don't know why, but it's a, it's a anything that is the name of a company and Kirkland's your name makes me feel that well perhaps that Rich Clancy was right to who would say bad things about my view as CFO. How's Kirkland brand doing versus the name brands? Kirkland Signature continues to grow market share on uh, everything that uh, we sell. You know, it's our brand. Uh, it's one name, one brand. We put it on everything from alcohol to luggage. And it continues to take uh, market share as we continue to uh, figure out how we continue to lower prices in that brand. So our Kirkland Signature is, uh, you know, one of our real strengths in our company and for the consumer. Yeah. You know, I want to go back to something you said about Apple and inability to get product. You've got some fantastic operations in China. You also have been, I think, the number one retailer when it comes to safety for the people who work at Costco. So how are you rationalizing what's going on in China with your commitment to the safety of people who work at Costco? You know, one thing about China right now is uh, they've had lowered uh, lack some of the uh, restrictions over there. But right now, COVID is on a real rise in China, and it's affecting our business over there. They're, they, although they have not shut down the Shanghai yet, they continue to recommend people stay in uh, while COVID is uh, moving forward over there. So it's it's been complicated in China. I'm concerned about what happens to China next year in terms of factories and things like that. You know, a lot of product, uh, whether you like it or not, continues to come out of China, particularly in the non-food merchandise. So it could be foreseeably a problem going into next year.